Let's start with our quadriceps. It's a Wednesday. I always like to stretch our quads out on a Wednesday. We're going to hold on to the back of the leg. Super important muscle group to stretch. Draw the knee closer towards the other knee. If you don't feel it, draw your diaphragm back slightly and tuck your pelvis under. Keep that knee coming closer towards the other knee. Sylvia. Yeah, that's it. Holding five, four, three, two, one, changing legs. You can either hold onto your chair or go for balance. You're going to tuck under with the pelvis. Pull back with the diaphragm slightly, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'd like to do one more on each side, please, holding onto the back of the leg. Hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the leg closest to the chair across. So it's the leg that is next to the chair comes across the body. You lean away from the chair. You take the other arm up and over. So it is the leg that is closest to the chair that is coming across. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Changing sides. The leg that is next to the chair comes across the other leg. You lean away. Take the other arm up and over. Reach through your fingers as much as you can. We're trying to stretch all that fascia out through the ribs. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Grabbing your yoga blocks, please. I want to do a little bit of calf work tonight. So, and if you do not have a yoga block, you can do all of this without a yoga block. Okay, it just makes it a little bit more intense having your, your block with you. So you're going to hold on to the back, the back of the chair or hold on to something. You're going to come onto your block, yoga block. I've got half my foot on and the other half of my foot off so I can drop my heels down to the floor. My legs are connected together. I'm squeezing my inner thighs as much as I can. I've got to imagine that I've got a little walnut between my inner thighs and I'm going to try and crack it. Suck your glutes upwards. We're going to drop the heels down. We're going to get a nice stretch there. And then we're going to lift right up, keeping a nice balance on all of our toes. Drop down. Lift up, squeeze the inner thighs, squeezing up from the glutes. Zip up through your pelvic floor, lifting up three, four. Now always think upwards, five. Even when we're going down, keep thinking up with your body, six. So the energy is never hanging down, it's always lifting up, seven. Don't forget to squeeze the base of the glutes. Eight, keep squeezing those inner thighs. Nine, keep tucking gently under with the pelvis. 10, if you struggle to get your pelvis under, just pull your diaphragm back. One, squeeze it up. Two, squeeze three, squeeze four. So we were doing last week, I think on the Wednesday, we did a knee class. So 
getting strong knees, you also need to have strong calf muscles. Again, everything about the knee is about the rest of the leg. How many? Ten. Okay, now we're going to come into a slightly rotated position with our legs. So I'll show you from the front view, you're going to be in this position. The legs work completely differently in parallel to what they do in rotation. So now we work in rotation exactly the same. Drop your heels down, lifting up one. Lifting up two. Now feel those inner thighs coming forward. Three, and wrapping open and connecting back into the hamstring butt connection point. Four. So there's this lovely feeling of this coming forward, 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 wrapping and getting right into the back of that glute. Check that you've got nice equal pressure or equal even pressure on your toes. Keep zipping up through the front of your pelvic floor. Keep that front meridian line open. Keep squeezing those glute muscles. How many is it? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come off the yoga block, push it away slightly. You're going to go into, a, we're going to stay facing the chair, you're going to go into a slight demi plie position. So not a full demi, half demi. This foot is going to come next to the other foot. So my toe is kind of touching my ankle bone. Then with this leg, I'm going to do a half rise and drop. So we're going to be working the Achilles and we're going to be working down just under the calf muscle. We're only going to do 10 on each side because they're horrible and they hurt. So here we go, we're going to a little plie, and it's a little half rise and drop, one. Half rise, drop two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, change legs. Half rise, lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring your yoga block back. Take your foot half on, half off so you can get a stretch. Then find your position for your stretch. Maybe you can feel your calf stretching like this. Maybe you can feel your calf stretching like this. Find the position that you get the best calf stretch. For me, I gotta go forward. I don't get anything when I'm back this way. I gotta take all of my body weight forward. Hold it. 10, 9, also what you do with your pelvis will make a difference to how you feel your stretch. So if you tuck under, obviously you're going to feel that calf muscle more. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, change sides. So I've kind of got just the ball of my foot on the block. Find your stretch, hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same with your yoga block. You can hold onto your chair or you do not need to. You're going to put your heels up on the block and your toes are going to go down onto the floor. Slightly uh, opening the legs, so they hip width apart, pelvis under, 
zip it up through the pelvic floor please squeeze your hamstring butt connection points drop down one now don't come back to a fully straight leg two three keep squeezing in here four five keep tucking under with the pelvis six seven eight nine ten twenty more and one georgia be careful you're not doing that with your knees keep it tracking three four keep tucking under i am five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Imagine you've got a bowl right up in those inner thighs and squeeze that bowl. One, two, three, four, five. Your body's up straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty quick drop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, la la. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And a one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Chairs away. Keep the yoga blocks close. We're coming back to them. Nice wide position. We're doing slow, thirty, or yeah, single. Slow, slow down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Okay. So we've got a nice wide position. Legs are rotated. We're doing a slow sumo squat with a pulse down. So we're going to go one, two, three. Squeeze it back up. Imagine that you've got two rods under here and that you're being pushed up with those rods from the glutes. One, two, three. Lift from the hamstring butt connection point. One, two, three. Lift it from the hamstring butt connection points. One, two, three. Lift, squeeze it up. One, two, three. Squeeze it up. One, Two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Now be careful that you do not let, you keep on going, that you don't let the knees drop in. The knees have to be open. It's not good for the knee if the knee drops forward. That's not great for those ligaments. You have to keep them nice and open. One, two, Three up, I mean 20, you're going to do single. Two, three up, squeeze. One, two, three up. Keep this front central meridian line alive by activating that pelvic floor. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, last one. One, two, three. Change into a single leg. Come up onto the heel. So we've just worked our calves, we're going to work them a little bit more. And one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Keep that front meridian open. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Tell me when we've done ten. One, two, three, last one. One, two, three, change sides. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. One, two, three, seven more. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, it's quite hard on that foot, hard on my foot because I am developing bunions, God bless me, yes, that's it. Come down to your mats, please. Take your yoga blocks, grab your mats. And your weights. And your weights. Mats, yoga blocks, weights. Yeah, discovered a big bunion on the side of my left foot, which is quite distressing. Making me feel like an old lady. Okay. So, we are going to we're going to be on the yoga block to start with. So we're going to be doing a, we're going to be doing a lat. I want to work a little bit of back. So I'd like you to work with your one kilos, please. Sylvia, you work with your 0.5 kilo. Okay. Everyone else, I want you with a one, please. Georgia, up to you how it feels with your neck. You're going to be on your knees. Hand is going to be on the yoga block. The other hand with the weight is going to pull up and squeeze from the back, the big lat muscle, and then we're going to drop it back down. We're going to do that 30 times and then we're going to switch arms. If it starts to get too much on your wrist, come to your fist. Okay, here we go. Find your neutral spine position. Breath out, pull it up, one. Activate the abs, one. Pull, two. Abs come up as you pull it up. Three. Four. Abdominals, pelvic floor and lats. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, twenty more. It's time to start working on our back fat again. It's summer around the corner. One, two, three, four. Keep those abs working. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest from the position. Rest the other hand. It's a bit tough on the wrist, I know. We change sides. Oh, I forgot to do the standing yoga block. I need to go back to that. Find your neutral spine position. Be careful that you're not doing this. You're going to be right up and over those knees. Pull it up. Or one. We're pulling from the lats. Two. Abdominals. Three. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Twenty more and one. Pull it up, two, right up with the elbow. Three, the elbow's going to go past your body. Four, five, six, abdominals, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a small rest. So as I'm saying abdominals, don't wait just to do abdominals when you're doing an abdominal, when we're doing abdominal exercises. Utilize the strength that you've got in your ab now, abs now, in every exercise that we're doing. It's like you want to do one hour of, like, you're basically doing one hour of ab abdominals all the time when you do Pilates. And I keep saying it, otherwise if I don't say it, you'll just let it all hang out. Come back to the first position, please. Now we're going to pull it up. As we pull it up, suck the belly back, so activate the abs, extend it out, pull it back in, and drop it back down. Here we go. One. So we keep working the back, now we keep working the tricep. Two. Abdominals. Three. Pelvic floor. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Now, if it's starting to hurt your neck, check where your eye gaze is. Nine. Lift the eyes up. Ten. One. Two. If it's starting to get too hard on the wrist, pull up away from the wrist so you're not putting all the weight down on that supporting wrist. Abdominals. How many is that? Six. Seven. Pelvic floors. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more and one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Changing sides. Pulling it up one extent. Two, three, four, five. Check your eye gaze if it's starting to hurt your neck. Six, seven, eight, nine. To Barcelona just all of a sudden get humid. 10, 20 One. more, huh? Two. Two. Have a little break, watch Three. you all. Three. Four. Don't sink down into the block. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Last ten and ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. 
four, three, two, and one, and rest. I've got one more I want to do, but I'm going to just give our wrists a break, and I'm going to stand, we're going to stand up with our blocks, please. I've got one more on the wrist, so I'll just give you all a break. Okay, you're going to hold your block in a prayer position. So it's long ways. You're going to, and now these are sneaky, these, exercises, these, these particular ones. They seem very, very easy at the time. And then pretty much last time I did them, or a couple of months ago when I did them, everyone sent me a message saying they had muscle soreness from them. So we squeeze the block to activate our pecs and our back muscles. You're then going to push the block away and twist. Then you're going to bring it back in and pull it back. So we're squeezing from the pecs and from the back and push. So you've got to create the tension yourself with your muscles. Push your palms of your hands towards each other. Three. If you want your body to work more, you can come into a squat. Four. Five. Keep those backs working. Six. Seven. Abdominals. Eight. Keep squeezing. Nine. Ten. Hold it out there. Don't release the squeeze. There's a, it doesn't have to be a hard squeeze. It's just a gentle squeeze. Lifting it above your head. One. Pull it down and squeeze. Two. Three. Four. Five. Belly's back in. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a challenging one for our backs. We're going to keep our yoga blocks. Sylvia, you're going to go onto a chair, please. So you're not going to sit like us. You're going to sit on a normal chair. Everyone else, I want you to grab your one kilo weights. And I want you to try sitting on your yoga block in a cross-legged position or a straight-legged position. Whatever is better for your back. Sylvia, you are going onto a chair, please. So if you're, whatever position you're in, I want you to hold your backs as straight as you can possibly get them. You're going to take your weights. You're all paused, so I can't see where you're all at. Your palms are facing down. Back is straight. You're trying to get a neutral spine position. You're going to twist and pull using your lats. And then you're going to bring it back out. I'm going to do it from this way. Again, your options are legs straight or legs in a cross-legged position. And pull it back one. Now, as you pull back, suck your bellies right up. Pull it back two. You just sit on the Three. I can't hear what you said. Four. You can sit on a chair if you... Can you sit on the floor across the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can sit like this. Or you can just sit on the floor. Whatever, whatever is better for you. Nine. Eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Try to maintain neutral, guys. And one. Not a comfortable position. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten. 
10 more to go. And one. Two. Incredibly uncomfortable position. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Have a rest. We're staying in the position, so just rest your back however you need to rest it. I'm going to opt for a cross-legged position on the next one because I hate having my legs out straight like that. But again, it's up to you, whatever your backs can handle. Next one, we go arms are up and we pull down using our back muscles. So you want to imagine that you're in the gym and you're pulling on one of those big arm bars and you're pulling down from your back. You're activating your shoulders, you're activating your biceps and you're activating your triceps. 30 repetitions, here we go. Pull it down, one. Belly's back, two, pelvic floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, keep pulling those bellies back, keep drawing that pelvic floor up, one, two, oh. three, palms are facing me, Sophie, four, ah, oh, you've got nothing in your hands, I see, five, six, oh. seven, Eight, nine, ten, we've got ten to go, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Pop your weights down by your side, pop your yoga block to the side. Laying face down on your front, please, I wanna do our tummy lifts. How long have I got? Do you wanna be face down? Now the idea of the tummy lift is we're working against gravity, so we're going to suck our bellies up away from the floor, but we are not going to push our backs up. We're going to suck the belly up by using the muscles, and then you're going to squeeze your glutes, and you're going to hold that glute squeeze for three to four seconds. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out. Suck the belly up. Squeeze the glutes. Try to get the skin off of the mat. Hold one, two, three, and release. Deep breath in. And breathing it out. Suck the belly upwards. Squeeze the glutes, holding it. One, pelvic floor, two, three, and release. Take a deep breath into your back, into your shoulder blades. Breath in. And breathing out. Suck the belly button up. Find the pelvic floor. Squeeze the glutes. One, two, three. And release. Deep breath in. And breathing out, belly button comes up, squeeze.
Squeeze those glutes. Hold one. Squeeze them as much as you can. Two. Three. And release. Deep breath into your backs. And breathe it out. Suck it up. Squeeze those glutes. Holding one. Two. Three. And release. Two more repetitions. Deep breath in. Breathe it out. Squeeze the glutes. Hold one. Two. Three. And release. Last one. Deep breath in. Breathing it out. Squeeze one. Two. Three. And release. Laying on your backs, please. Okay, we're going to do the whole toe tap series today. So we're going to start with our feet a good way away from our body. So toe taps are not done like this. They need to be further away. This angle here needs to be a good triangle. Okay, we're going to be in a neutral spine position, which means it's going to be a gentle arch between the, bed, uh, the, the floor and the lower back. And I do not want you to change your neutral spine position. Once we lift the leg, this stays absolutely in neutral. There's no change to the spine. We're going to do it very slowly. I want you to see how hard you can work your abdominals, please. Relaxing your heads. Relaxing your shoulders. Take a deep breath into your intercostal muscles. Now, as you breathe out, feel the belly button sink down. Find your pelvic floor. Take your hands around your waist so you can feel the muscles tighten. And now gently left, lift the left leg off, but your abdominal should feel like rock hard. Breath in, release. Breathe out, sink the belly down. Find the pelvic floor. Feel your waist inch inwards. Feel the hardness of the abdominals and then slowly lower the leg down. Do not release your abdominals until your foot hits the mat. Take a deep breath in, release. Breathing out, sink the belly down. Find the pelvic floor, harden the muscles up and lift the right leg. Pushing gently into the left foot to stabilize the sacroiliac joints. Take a deep breath in. Bringing that knee all the way over your hip um, here. Breathing out, lowering it down. Abdominals, pelvic floor. Deep breath in. Breathing out, find your deep core muscles, pelvic floor, lift it off slowly. Breath in, hold. Breath out, slowly lowering it down. So you should be able to tire your abdominals doing this exercise if you do it correctly. Deep breath in. Breath out and lift. Contract them so much that they feel tired. Breath in, hold. You cannot rely on the movement to challenge you. Breath out, you have to re rely on your brain connection to your abs. One more with each side, deep breath in. Breath out, lift. Breath in, hold. Breath out, lower. Don't forget to contract your pelvic floor. Deep breath in. Breath out, lift. Breath in, hold. Breath out and lower.
Take the left leg up. Take the right leg up. Make sure your lower back is now flat on the mat. So there is no longer neutral. Neutral has become flat. Now you're going to take your toe and you're going to tap it as far away from you as you can without letting your lumbar spine arch. So you've got to be able to hold that lumbar down nice and flat on the mat. Here we go, 10 repetitions on each side. Breath out, tap it down, one. Do not let your lower back arch. Breath out, tap it down, two. Suck the belly down, find the pelvic floor. Suck the belly down, three. Suck it down, four. Don't let the six pack dominate. Five. If your belly is like a little mountain, six, you're letting your six pack take over rather than the transverse seven, alternating sides. Eight. Alternating sides, nine. And 10, five more with each side. And one. I think you're gonna to have to change leg at some point soon here. Two, we've been alternating. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest the legs for a moment. Lift the right leg up. Hold the back of your knee. Lift your head and shoulders up and draw your knee in towards, closer towards your chest. Lift the left leg up into the air. Flatten the lower back down onto the mat. Flex the left foot. Maintain your back being flat. Lower the leg down one. Lift it back up. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a small rest. Rest the neck. Draw the knees into your chest. Take a deep breath in and out. Take the other leg in towards the chest. Lift your head and shoulders. Lift your right leg. Flatten your lower back down. Make sure it doesn't come away from the floor. Flex that foot, lowering it down to one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. Sylvia, the next one, you're going to do a glute stretch, please. This one. Everyone else, legs together, lower backs flat. My legs are connected. Bend the knees. Now, you're going to take your toes down towards, or, or your heels. Actually, let's take, our, no, let's take our toes down towards the floor. But you do not let your lower back come away from the floor. Now, I can't tell you how far you can get down. Some people can get all the way down to the ground. Some people can move to here. 
the most important thing is, is that lower back does not move from the floor. Here we go, legs into tabletop. Take a deep breath in, breath out and lowering it down one. And two, connect, connect, connect. Don't just throw those legs up and down. Connect into your abs, three, pelvic floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Rest. Taking hold of your one kilo weights, please. Okay. Optional. You can do it laying on your back, okay? You do not need to come up into a tilt. If you want to work your glutes and you want to work a little bit harder, you're going to come up into a full tilt, drop down a little bit. And here I'm sort of sitting on my, almost to the bottom of my ribs, but my lower back is free. Or you can just do it laying back, flat on your back, whatever you prefer. The arms are going to be, my palms are facing Enrique Granados. I'm gonna open into a small V position and then I'm gonna come back in. So I'm gonna keep on working the triceps. So it looks like that. And I open to a V. It's not a big V, it's a little V. And I come back in. My shoulders aren't like this, my shoulders are down. And I'm working my back still. 30 repetitions. So your palms are facing the other way, um, Lee. So you're going to have your palms facing away from you. So the, the top of the weight is up on top of the chest. Like that. No. Palms are facing your knees. That's it. Okay, find our positions, please. Squeeze the glutes if you're up in your, in your tilt. 30 repetitions, find your backs and lifting it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Squeeze those glutes and one, two, three. Squeeze four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a small rest. How am I going for time, maybe? Nine minutes. Arms straight up and down. You're going to do the same with the pelvis. You can either choose to come up or you can choose to go down, whatever you feel better with. You're going to bend the elbows. I'm not going to move this part of my arm. This arm stays exactly in the same position and then you just extend it up, working that tricep. So be careful that your arms aren't up here. The arm needs to be perfectly aligned with your shoulder and your serratus anteriors need to be on. Lift it up. Find a good position for your back. 30 repetitions and drop it down up or on. Two. Now if you are in a tilt, three. Think about your inner thighs. Four. Five. 
five, squeeze those glutes, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and resting down. Coming up into a psoas stretch, please. Pillow for the knee. I don't need a pillow because I'm on this nice big soft mat, but you'll put a pillow under the knee that is on the floor, please. The foot is up at the back. Very important because we're stretching the plantar fascia out. We're going to have our hips nice and square. We're going to do a tuck under with the pelvis so you can feel the psoas down the end. Lean gently forward. Take your same arm as leg that you're stretching up towards the ceiling. So that'll be the left arm here. That's it. Left arm. Suck the belly back in. Suck it in so you feel the psoas. Hold it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, change sides. Foot is curled up at the back. Tuck under with the pelvis, lean slightly forward. Same arm as leg that you're stretching, take it up to the ceiling. Suck the belly back inwards, holding 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Great, we're coming into a pigeon stretch. You're going to take the leg forward. The other leg is going to come backwards. So it will look like the knee is slightly out here. Bring it slightly out from the hip. There you go. Relax the foot down at the back. Drop the body forward, bring this hip around. That right hip comes around a little bit more. That's it here, bring it right up and over. Taking a deep breath in. And breathing out. And deep breath in. And out. Changing legs. So the knee is slightly open from the hip. And all of my body weight is up over that leg. Drop into your stretch. Take a deep breath in. And breath out. Ooh, that's good. Take a deep breath in. And breath out. Coming up to your knees. Last one. Take one leg out to the side. Level the hip. So don't let the hip be up. This hip has to be down, level with the other one. You then take your body weight forward. Okay, now it depends on what it depends on what your adductor is like, but I already feel my adductor. Okay, I don't need to change position to feel my adductor. However, we all have different addu adductors, so some of you may need to progress back to sitting on your leg to get more of a stretch. You find whatever feels good, or do a little mix of both. 
I kind of like hovering between halfway and halfway, halfway up and halfway down. And we're going to hold this, guys. We're going to hold it for about 40 seconds. Try to mm, enjoy the tearing sensation of the fascia. <laughs> that's all that's happening. It's just the fascia. It's just the crystallization just sort of tearing away. Take a deep breath in, you'll be fine. Breathing out, I feel it as well. Take a deep breath in, and breath out, changing legs. Drop this hip bone down. Gotta go down. Switching the leg, take the body forward, and find your stretch. Very cute, Jack. Not your adductor, your dog. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in. And breathing it out. Coming, sitting in whatever position is comfortable for you. Take your ear towards your shoulder and just do a gentle neck stretch. Never go, never go crazy with the neck, okay? We do not need to stretch the neck like we need to stretch the legs. We take it into a gentle position. We think of the ear lifting towards the ceiling. So the ear is lifting up slightly and that will give you that extra stretch changing sides take a deep breath in and breathing out and we are finished for tonight thank you everybody See some of you tomorrow. See some Thanks of you on Saturday.